dish offers the chance of a taste of pure luxury. It may be just fish eggs, but to the connoisseur, it merits the description black gold. Caviar is a symbol of the best of all things Russian. From the Tsarist times through the era of communism until today, it's been a favorite food of gourmets around the world. Although it ends up looking appetizing, the preparation process is a somewhat messy business. Sturgeon have to be gutted alive to extract the precious roe. These are large fish, and the caviar can form as much as one-fifth of their body weight. Production techniques haven't changed much over the years. It still takes a trained hand to begin to transform the rather unappealing, raw ingredients into the valuable, glossy delicacy. This has long been one of Russia's most valuable commodities, but now its future is far from assured. The once plentiful stock is dwindling. The caviar industry's troubles begin in the Volga, Europe's longest river, where overfishing, poaching and pollution are taking their toll. The ancient city of Astrakhan stands at the head of the delta where the Volga empties into the Caspian Sea. It's here that fishermen congregate every year to intercept the mighty shoals of sturgeon as they pass by. Each morning of the season, which lasts from mid-April to July, the nets are cast in the hope of trapping the migrating fish. After spending the winter under the ice of the Volga, nature dictates the return to warmer waters in the spring, and so the heavily pregnant sturgeon make their way downstream towards their spawning sites, but most don't reach their destination. Some 4,500 fishermen are licensed to take part in the annual harvest, but the rewards are so high that more and more are doing so illegally. A kilo of caviar can fetch the equivalent in rubles of many hundreds of dollars on the Moscow market, so poaching is becoming an ever more serious problem for the authorities. So serious that this year, for the first time, the fishing operation is being policed by national troops. Sturgeon stocks are being placed at risk as well by the efficiency of modern fishing methods. The equipment available today means few evade the nets and survive to spawn and replenish future supplies. Hunting techniques tend to be brutal. Sturgeon have to be delivered alive to the factory in order to ensure the freshness of the caviar. But some succumb before this. Many fall victim to exposure to industrial waste and pollution from shipping, oil spills and sewage. But it is the value of their eggs which put them in most danger. These battered specimens are prodded to see if they're carrying the precious road. The authorities which regulate the industry are not pleased that almost a third of the catch was stolen this year even though much was recovered. According to our data, the Astrakhan region alone has lost about 600 million rubles in earnings. And this is an estimate based on domestic prices for caviar, which are much lower than export ones. The vigor does not include the value of stolen equipment and transport. It just represents the value of the caviar and fish we've confiscated from the poachers. Apart from the millions of dollars of state revenue lost through poaching every year, the real crisis facing the caviar industry is the danger of the extinction of the species. For the moment, Russia still manages to produce the most caviar in the world, way ahead of its only rivals, Iran and Azerbaijan. But output has fallen drastically over the years, mounting in 1993 to just a tenth of the pre-revolutionary level. It was Peter the Great's father, Tsar Alexis I, who placed the industry under state control in 1645. Ever since, it's been a source of major earnings. Almost all the caviar prepared today is reserved for export. Before the breakup of the Soviet Union, caviar was inexpensive and easy to find in Moscow. Foreign tourists, frequently at a loss for good food, often gorged on the delicacy. But now the cost of caviar is doubling every six months. Large quantities are no longer for sale in the markets, and even small tins are hard to find in state-run shops. 
prices at airports and speciality stores are astronomical. The industry still provides thousands of jobs and is a stable source of hard currency from abroad. But unless stricter controls against pollution and poaching are put into effect, and unless the number of sturgeon fished is regulated, the nets of the fishermen of Astrakhan could soon stop yielding their precious cash. <laughs> 